Hello and welcome to the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. With me, Mike Ryan, the founder and CEO of Bullet Point Network. Welcome. Thank and you. And also Arthur Bavalis, the CEO of Family Office Insights. So great to see you again. Thanks, Joe. Um, so Mike, just give me an overview of Bullet Point Network. What is it that you're doing? We help investors and companies connect stories to statistics. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of storytellers out there and there are lots of number crunchers. Yeah. We crunch stories. We okay. connect stories to statistics so people can make better decisions about their direct investments. Okay. And you've got an interesting background. You've been working in finance for a while. So give me a summary of your previous jobs and what you led you to start this company. Sure. Well, I spent about uh, almost 20 years at Goldman Sachs. So I was a partner there uh, at the time of the IPO and for about eight years after. And I was managing my own money, my own family office. Uh, I then managed uh, about $18 billion for Harvard University as part of their endowment. Um, and during that whole time, I've been interested in fundamental investing, the kind of decision making that you need to do about companies and real estate assets uh, from a fundamental standpoint. Uh, I've always had a team of analysts working with me. And over the years, we developed software, proprietary technology, and have two patents issued for the novel way that we connect stories to statistics to make better decisions. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Arthur, and how are you working with Family Office Insights with Bullet Point Network? So there's two, two things, me personally and my family office, um, uh, using Bullet Point Network to assess opportunities that I would invest in personally. And then secondly, the community being exposed to the utility, and I mean that in the most polite way, of Bullet Point Network. Um, and one of the things that uh, I think it's important to recognize is that there's a, been a lot of talk about direct investing with family offices, and some of it's around thwarting the fees, fund fees, and not paying uh, two and 20 or that sort of thing. Um, and that's not the only reason. The, there's a bunch of other reasons. But often what's happened is that the people who want to do the direct investing in the family offices don't have the horsepower on the analyst bench to really evaluate. And when it comes to the five yard line, they bail because they get chicken. And so that is um, not all, always the case, but they just don't have the horsepower to really analyze and understand the opportunity or the risks involved. And so this is uh, uh, um, one of the ways, and, and arguably a, a really effective one, to be able to, to deploy capital indirect investment and do it with confidence. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, so can you explain, like you talked a little bit about using the data and kind of how that helps you make better decisions. Can you walk me through a specific example of when this was applied and how, how that was a successful test of this? Sure. Well, we have lots of frameworks. So various companies, uh, cash flowing private equity or commercial real estate, uh, there's a framework for those kinds of investments. We also have venture stage, early stage, angel stage, seed stage investments. And uh, each of those has their own unique uh, framework in our system. The way that we uh, do it is we first understand the key drivers of the business. And then we get uh, evidence from the company, from their data room, from their operating results. Uh, we do research. We use all the modern uh, tools. So we use natural language processing, expert networks, traditional old-fashioned desk research, and we relentlessly map evidence to those key drivers so that each of our assumptions is well supported. We then use our software to create scenarios, so different possibilities of what may unfold hmm. in the future. Uh, not random Monte Carlo scenarios, mm -hmm. but logical, realistic cases built on those drivers. And then we can see and understand with confidence what may unfold. Hmm. We use that to drive valuation, valuation today, what's the company worth right now? And then we can model and see how valuation may change in the future as they meet milestones and as they move into the future. And that's the process that we use and we deliver it all through interactive reporting that our clients can access by logging in with a password so they and only the permission third parties can see the work that mm -hmm. has been done on the company. And we have uh, an issue alerts platform where they can share information, share their own evidence because many of our clients are sophisticated people with great insight, great judgment, great decision-making capability. What they don't have is a professional team of analysts and a software platform to do the research and store and organize the evidence. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're gonna be putting millions of dollars or maybe even some cases billions of dollars into something, you wanna make sure you have all the data and all the research that you possibly can before you make that decision, so. Exactly, and we, we like to be confident in our decisions and we like our 
clients and partners to be mm -hmm. confident as well. And we get confidence from having the evidence, mm -hmm. understanding the scenarios, seeing what might unfold and go wrong, and understanding what could go spectacularly well and putting the odds, the probabilities on that. Uh, that essentially is the platform and the team that Bullet Point Network gives to our clients. Mm -hmm. Arthur, do you have any questions? So what, what's a client look like? Just pick a silo and give an, ex not specifically the name of the client, but what would a, what, what's a profile of a client that would benefit from this sort of thing? Sure, well, family office direct investing is really growing. Uh, a few years ago, uh, $25 billion worth of direct investments by family offices. Last year, about $100 billion. So it's a booming area. Uh, most of these family offices are uh, pretty sophisticated, pretty knowledgeable people. Many of them were CEOs of their own companies or ran their own family business and did so very successfully. Um, they have insight. They can source opportunities. They can also make final decisions. They can say yes or no to the risk and return once they understand it. What they tend not to have is a professional team doing the research and analysis and monitoring of their portfolio. The reason's pretty simple. Even the largest family offices tell me that they do between two and five direct investments per year, spread across lots of sectors, real estate, technology, finance, healthcare. So if you're doing a handful of deals each year, it probably doesn't make sense to have a professional team and a multi-million dollar software platform for just those handful of deals. So that's where Bullet Point Network comes in. We are that team for them, and they use our team and our tools to support their diligence and to monitor their investments for their whole life. So there's two things. There's an assessment of the opportunity and creating all the research and the analysis. And then once that platform or that basis of information is put into the system, then you can adjust and add information and monitor on an ongoing basis. That's exactly right. So we start by building what we call the strategic model. And so we build a model to underwrite the original investment and we store and map all the evidence that we can find and we build scenarios today for what may unfold. Then over the entire life of the investment, we add evidence. So every time the company reports numbers, when we do market research, or if members of our community, uh, the investors in a syndicate around the deal, have insight, have knowledge, and uh, share it with us, we map that into the model. So the model is a living, breathing thing that's always available to evaluate exit opportunities, new capital raises when they occur, and ultimately, um, it's the living, breathing element of the strategic model that our clients really value. So full disclosure, I've seen this in action, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna posit it as a question, but in, uh, as somebody that is an investor in something, uh, that is on the bullet point chassis, so to speak. If I have some nuance that can, and I can make a contribution for the other investors, I can propose that as to put into the formula, so to speak, and have some impact on at least an opinion if it's not just numbers, right? Absolutely. I mean, one of the tools that we built that's really powerful is the ability to collect information, questions, as well as comments or data from our community. And so the co-investors around a deal and the management and board of the company are permissioned, password protected users of the platform. So they not only get the strategic model, but when we have new information, new research, a change in a judgment, we publish it to them. They can go on the website or they can get an email right to their inbox. Oh, an alert, yeah. An alert. And then as you said, you can comment on the alert. You can provide your own opinion you can ask your own question, or you can actually attach your own data. Say, I saw this news story in an industry journal. This seems to be on target. And then we build the knowledge pile that supports the strategic model through time. I think you should patent that, mm. knowledge pile. <laughs> we actually do have two patents. We have two issued patents at Bullet Point Network. They're uh, not about the terminology, but they're actually about the process that we use for tagging and storing evidence and building scenarios. Uh, we have actually two issued patents, which we're proud of. Yeah. Uh, but ultimately, uh, you know, maybe we should put a trademark on the word knowledge pile as yeah. well. <laughs> so how can somebody find out more about Bullet Point? Well, uh, we can visit our website, which is uh, bulletpoint.network. Okay. Uh, and you can also, if you're a family office, you can also uh, connect through Arthur Bevelis' Family Office Insight. Uh, group. Uh, we, we really work 
pretty selectively with the largest family offices, and then we work with syndicates of family offices okay. through the Family Office Insight uh, on individual transactions. Okay, fascinating stuff. Thank you so much thank for, thank for you. coming, and yeah. Arthur, as always. Yeah. And thank you as well for joining us. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ. Have a great day.